Hi, Rachel here with Pedal Talk, our behind the scenes of Pedal Fest. And I'm here with Stacy to talk about the fundraising this year for the event. Why is fundraising for Pedal Fest this year more critical than it has been in the past? Well, we're certainly um, facing a different challenge this year with Pedal Fest now going virtual. Um, to get people to sign up to not only ride, but also to fundraise on behalf of HeartSpring. Um, with our families facing also kind of this, you know, critical situation, uh, we need to be there for them to help them receive the therapies that they need, and we need funds from events like Pedal Fest to make that possible. How do people fundraise this year, and how do they get creative in the ways that they typically would do fundraising more face-to-face? You know, the first and easiest way is just peer to peer. Ask your friends to give you five, 10, 15, $20. Facebook is awesome for that. I just made a post this week and I'm up to, I think, $250. So just making the ask, getting out there. Uh, but little things, go through your change jar. Um, we're doing the Medis give back. So attending events like that, buy a bike buddy um, for some of our participating organizations. Uh, garage sales are happening, all of those things. So mm -hmm. just get creative with it. So what is the goal this year for Pedal Fest and how has that compared to years in the past? We're really thankful for all of our sponsors. They have stayed the course and regardless of the event happening in person or not, um, they believe in the mission of HeartSpring and truly care for the families that we serve. Um, this year's event is made possible by our presenting sponsor, Emprise Bank. Um, they've been with us for a few years now as our presenting sponsor and a number of others. They're all listed on pedalfest.org, but we're so thankful for them um, just really being behind this mission. So how do people start out fundraising for Pedal Fest? What's the beginning step they need to do? How do they go about doing that? So first step, go to pedalfest.org and register. Join us, um, whether you're gonna walk, run, bike, regardless of what your wheels look like, you can participate. Um, and then from there, you'll have your page set up and you can fundraise for us. You can, um, there's very easy, there's links on there where you can share to Twitter, Facebook, and we've got things already written for you. You can copy paste, send out an email, a text, whatever works for you. Um, just share it loud and proud. We've talked in some of these other videos about competitions and challenging people, and I've issued challenges to people. If you are a unicyclist, I want to see out riding for Pedal Fest if you have a unicycle doing that. Yeah, one of the things we've talked about this year is regardless of what your wheels look like, you can participate. And that kind of goes into the, it's more than a bike ride. It's, it's just all for the kids and that's what we're doing it for. So whether you're in a wheelchair, whether you use an adaptive trike or bike, um, perhaps you do ride a unicycle or a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Whatever your wheels like, you can participate. That is awesome. So this year we're trying to get more people involved, get out there, help us fundraise. The funds go to a great cause for the HeartSpring Pediatric Services team, helping provide therapies for children who need it. So that's speech therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy, audiology, and behavioral health services. I got all five in there. <laughs> I didn't know if I was gonna be able to do that. But we wanna be able to support the community in all needs here, and especially during this time because we know families out there are having a difficult time with the COVID-19 pandemic. So Stacy, thank you so much for coming in today. We want to thank all of you all for tuning in to Pedal Talk, our behind the scenes of Pedal Fest. And remember, you have until August 22nd to get involved with Pedal Fest and be a part of HeartSpring's fundraiser.